Hello everyone, this is Phone Arena and what we have for you this time is the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play, the first PlayStation certified handset and we'll take it for a quick benchmarking run. What we have here is the Quadrant standard benchmarking application. So we'll run this and we'll run the full benchmark as a comprehensive testing. It tests the CPU memory database and the graphical performance of, of, the, uh, of the handset and we'll see how this uh, phone rates against the other high-end devices. We've had a couple of dual-core announcements uh, in the previous months and we'll see if this can actually be a competition. We, have, we see the frame rates here drop to uh, on nearly 12 frames per second, not the best results uh, we've seen. And here we have results slightly below the 20 frame per second mark. Uh, also not groundbreaking. So let's see what we have in the uh, three-dimensional uh, graphic department. Uh, see a pretty average frame rate here. We have 20 frames per second. And let's take a look at the results. So the results actually vary. What we got now is uh, 1300, uh, and you can get as much as uh, 1500 depending on the program programs that that are running on the, in the background and uh, obviously we haven't turned off, off all the uh, programs but we have uh, basically the most uh, memory intensive programs uh, shut down so uh, this is what you get with standard uh, quadrant testing on the Xperia Play. And since the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play is mostly a gaming device, what matters really is the graphical performance of this handset. So we chose N3D Bench XL to check out the graphical performance of the Xperia Play. And the first test which we'll run here is called the Double Dragon and checks the GPU's ability to render static objects. We have static uh, graphics here and uh, we'll see the second the results in a second. But before that, let us show you the other test it went through. And this next text test is called Ninja's Garden. It's what tr truly showcases the capabilities of this handset. And as you can see, we have a, a noticeable slowdown in the performance of the Xperia Play. Uh, so you can see that we have both the grass, we have the background, and we have the uh, skeletal animations here. Something that you'll see pretty often in games. Uh, so we'll check out the results in a second. But before that, let's take a look at one final test. And this final graphical stress test renders nearly 50,000 polygons uh, worth of a landscape we, we see right here. So it's a, a pretty realistic test to show what, what the performance of the Xperia Play will be. And in a minute you'll see the complete results. So while the Xperia Play is a pretty powerful device with its Qualcomm MSM 8255 chipset, it's definitely not comparable to uh, what the other high-end uh, Android handsets like the dual core ones, including the Motorola Atrix 4G, ha have to offer. And uh, for a more detailed uh, review of the graphical performance of the Xperia Play, check out phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.